himself and started patting himself on the back, saying, oh, I've got to go down as a man who stumped the great Harry Houdini. Well, all was fine and dandy until from the rear of the crowd of approximately 3,000 people, everyone heard, ta-da, and everyone turns around to look, and there is Houdini, still in his boxers, out of his shackles, standing on a stone wall behind the crowd, doing one of these, and standing right next to him was the man he was put in the cell with. Oh. <laughs> Let's talk about this building right here. It's 1692, during the witch trial hysteria. This building was actually owned by a man.